you can technically, let me undo, you can do a wall just for that thin piece. So let me just, uh, I guess I'll leave that undone. So I'm going to duplicate this wall and just call it um, sheathing and siding, right? And then I'll move my plywood down. I'll move my air infiltration barrier down. And then I'll move my, I guess I can leave my finish outside. But then I'm going to get rid of my structure and my interior layers. So now I just have a wall that's sheathing, air barrier. Oh, Jesus. And of course, I selected a wall when I did it. Uh... New white face. Okay. And then you could just draw that one wall in between. So not always easy to draw that wall in between because you're going to get overlaps and stuff. You know, one little trick is to draw it outside and then adjust it. And so um what the hell did I call it again? Siding, sheathing and siding. Not a good naming convention. One tip like for stuff like that is if you especially have sections, is I just drew it outside of the wall. Um you can see here it is here. And then I don't know why it's offset by three foot four and some change, whatever. So zero, zero. And then from here, you could either, I wouldn't say have a level, but here you can just pull this down. And then maybe the top is locked to the first floor. 